you. I mean, it, it, it created animalistic situations. Mm -hmm. Now it forced me to be outside. It forced me to be. I'm. 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 Right. I'm, I'm. Let me see. 2001. I was still in my twenties. I'm young. I'm a young boy. I'm rich. That's crazy. I got millions. So so I going got back the, to I so got, going back to what I said. I got all of the resources. I got all of yeah. the you know you know cars, jewelry, mm -hmm. all the fun stuff. I'm known. I'm famous. I'm, now I'm just forced me to be outside. Exactly. So like I said in the beginning, when I asked you how you was able to contain that and channel all of that, mm -hmm. but you always had the ring to do it in. Yeah. That's taken from you. Yeah. So now people outside is getting it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. Like I was getting in street fights, yeah. But I think what calmed me down with the, with the street fights was the lawsuits. Yeah. Yeah, I got like two lawsuits and they was pretty steep. Was street pretty, fight, similar. Yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm asking you because you are a professional boxer. Is it is it similar to, to no, boxing? No such thing. Mm -hmm. So what's, what's, what's different? Everything. Mm -hmm. Me, so this is why I tell people that wish, this is what I, this is what I tell people that wish and want to think about fighting me. I say, you see how from a baby, they've been putting your socks on before your shoes for you to go outside? Mm -hmm. That's how I've been fighting and trained to fight people. So that's not, it's, it's, it was almost unfair mm -hmm. to fight regular guys because the skill level that I possess mm -hmm. and that I knew, people didn't know this. They, right. they didn't know how to, like, I knew how to fight. I knew how to stand in the pocket and size didn't matter. Size don't matter. Size mm -hmm. don't matter. I had a skill that was unmatchable. You know, let me ask you about size, because me and Michael Jai White, we were talking about that. Yeah. So size cannot matter, but if if skill, if size applies. Size with skills, okay, it's different. Yeah. Now that's okay. that, that's different. Right. So Zab Judah with his skills fighting a Mike Tyson at that level at his skills, no. Right. No, Mike would have, right. no, definitely no, you can't be. But a regular guy, Mike Tyson size, exactly. without the skill level, yeah. just with the, yeah, I'll, I'll just... knock you out. Like, no, 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 you won't. <laughs> no, you can't. Right. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? No, you can't. Yeah. And I was, no, you can't. What's the nastiest knockout you ever delivered to somebody? In the ring? Or out? Nah, I wasn't really, I mean, my. you know what, it, it came to a level where, like, my, you know, like me being known in the streets, mm -hmm. people didn't really mess with me. People didn't really, they didn't really, you know, after, you know, after that 2001 Casa Zoo stuff like mm -hmm. that, you know, street fights, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really, I didn't really get into them. People didn't really, they didn't really interfere with me. I mean, they, mm -hmm. I was on TV all the time. I was yeah. on, people knew as Ab Judah, he's mm -hmm. a boxer. Mm -hmm. Right. We ain't trying to fight him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, but, you know, in the ring, yeah, I got 30 knockouts. 15 What's in the, the first round? Like, that you think of, like, damn, I almost killed that boy. Oh, bro. It don't feel like that. I probably, I probably witnessed that, mm -hmm. but I didn't feel like that. I felt like, so in, in, in my sport, it was, I was taught and trained to inflict pain mm -hmm. the fastest you could do it in the most hurtfulest way you could do it. Mm -hmm. So my pop always taught me, he said, inflict the most pain you could inflict on a person the fastest and the meanest that you could do it. You could get them out of there in 30 seconds, break them up. That's that Mike Tyson spirit too. I, I promise y'all, bro. I yeah. promise y'all. That's, mm -hmm. that's real talk. Mm -hmm. Any fighter will tell you that. You know what I'm saying? So a fighter fighting people outside on the street, it's, it's very rare you're going to find that a street person beat up a, a boxer. Right. You, or, or, or any kind of a fighting athlete mm -hmm. to that, mm -hmm. you know, even even martial arts, even a, a young martial artist that studied martial arts from young all the way up to grown, a regular street dude is not messing with him. You're right. not. Right. You're not. You don't have the the discipline because it takes discipline to be a great fighter. I mm -hmm. tell people all the time, you can't just swing it. No, it's it's not about swing. It's about discipline. Knowing how knowing how to control yourself. Mm -hmm. Knowing how to place the right punches in the right places and at the right speed and the right power. Mm -hmm. So so to develop that type of situation, you got to be very educated on what you're doing right you know what i'm saying so yeah I, I i just don't find a street person outside to be able yeah. to i want to ask you a technical question defense wise are you which is more efficient to you and this is just me asking as a boxing fan um is it the the the, the crab the shoulder uh defense or like george foreman would do you know that one i always thought that that one had george foreman no do. neither Neither I, that I was not a fan of neither, neither one of them. I right. come from the Pernell with a head movement. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I was always taught move your head or somebody gonna move it for you. Mm. 
make a lot of sense. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Really. I mean, the shoulder roll, that was a style. You know, that that came from the from the Midwest. You know, mm -hmm. James Honey in Detroit. That's right. Mayweather in Michigan. Mm -hmm. Like they they picked up that style and they mastered that style. So mm -hmm. I always tell people, when you don't really know what you're doing with that style and you mimicking it and you just watching somebody do when you're trying to mm -hmm. do it, you're gonna get knocked out because you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> right. You don't know why you even rolling the shoulder. You you don't you don't know why. So that's why you never you never see me do that yeah. ever. Yeah. You know, that wasn't my style. You never see me do the George for me. Yeah. Cause that's not my style. You yeah. know, George did that because George knew, let me get this body. All his body was like a brick. It was like that table. Yeah. But so he knew that you're uh, not gonna you're not gonna get here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So for somebody else that's trying to mimic it, they're gonna just gonna do this and they body mm. not right. <laughs> they going down right. off the first body shot. You know up. what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So it's yeah. like fight the way you know how to fight or the way you train. And right. that's the way that's the thing that I've done. Right. So coming through the boxing ranks, and of course, as we was talking about, uh the OG, Jay Prince. Yeah. Um, you had dealings with Jay Prince in the in the boxing arena? Um, you know, we never did uh business together, but I've been mm. around Jay for a long time. Jay's mm. like one of my mentors. I love, I love, I love. Was he I there loved. at the beginning of Floyd's career? Say it again. He, was he there at the beginning yeah, of Floyd's he was, career? Yeah, he was. He was. He was with Mayweather. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Floyd did um a lot of a lot of. Well, I don't know if it was the beginning. It was like somewhere like in the beginning. Well, in obviously the you guys have been fighting since. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young, yeah, young, yeah. but. Nah, but Jay's a Jay's a dope dude. <clears throat> dope. He's 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 very um. He's a very educated person. Mm -hmm. Like he's very educated, book wise, street wise, sense wise. You know, because you find a person that she's, sometimes you might find a person, they're not book educated, but they're very street smart. That's right. They know how to maneuver around the street. Then you might find a person that's a business person, but they're square in the streets. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know what I mean? So it's, it's hard it's, to find that balance. It's rare to find someone yeah. like that. So Jay is, yeah, Jay is definitely one of those guys. I, I remember being at Jay, a Jay house and um, we were riding on four wheelers. We were riding four wheelers and he was taking me way out. We was way out in... And uh, I think it was just me and him. We way out in the uh, farm and the land. We riding, going to see something else. And Jake, is, <laughs> stay behind me, stay behind me. I'm like, yeah, I got it. And I hit a tree. And I flew in the air and I hurt myself pretty bad. I mean, long story short, I was knocked out on the ground. The next thing I heard was Jay was like, you all right? You all right? And Jay picked me up, put me on top of his four-wheeler and rolled me back to the house. I mean, I was all busted. I had blood and everything Damn. all busting out and stuff. Yeah. yeah, but I remember, it was, and it was just me and Jay. Way we were far from the house. Is this in Houston? It's in Houston. Oh, okay. It's in Houston, and um, <clears throat> and and um, you know, I just remember, you know, Jay taking me back. We went, we went back to the house, and um, I got myself together. But yeah, but Jay's always been an inspiration to me, man. Mm -hmm. I've been around him for for a long time. You know, just you know, the thing was, uh, the reason why we probably never did business was because. At the time when he came around and I was dealing with him, I always had other management and I was in mm -hmm. deals already. Okay. But I always hung around him. He'll tell you, Zab was mm -hmm. like my fighter. He was, I was right there with him, gaining the knowledge, gaining all information. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. because, because I liked the way he maneuvered and conducted himself. You know okay. what I'm saying? You know, so as a person, he was, a, you know, he was, he was, he was, he was a very, mm -hmm. very, very sharp. To the point, and what I, what I, what I really admired about him was he was connected with the Lord. Yeah, I don't he's know if people spiritual. know that about yeah, Jay he's Prince. Yeah, he's a very spiritual. He's a very. Guy. Yep. He has a that man has a connection with God, bro. I'm saying, hey, I mean, we all 